Hey guys, welcome to Water Baby Tarot by Bommy Spirit. I'm Rodin. We're going to be doing the Pisces birthday readings. So I usually do two to three spreads. I just kind of feel it out. If a spread goes really long, we're probably going to do two, but we'll go ahead and see. So those who are new to tarot or new to my channel, just a few guidelines to go over. If you're new to tarot in general um, or how to interpret the messages and whatnot or what videos you should be watching outside of my channel, this goes for any channel that you come across on YouTube. Uh, I have a link below for how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer. Please go ahead and check out that video it's a nice little crash course in it okay so first of all this is energy work so messages that come out are pertaining to the energy that i pick up in and around you and that the cards are interpreting the way energy works it's fluid it's not linear so it could be energy that you're experiencing it could be energy from the people around you in your physical environment or people you're energetically connected to that you have ongoing relationships with all kinds of relationships friendships romances co-workers, family, whatever, okay? These are going to be very, very general. Since it's a birthday reading, I usually set the intention for any messages that want to come through. So keep in mind, this can be, um, excuse me, these can be messages that pertain to any aspect of your life, okay? Health, work, your own spiritual growth, romance, friendships, Health, like, I think I said health. I don't know why I want to say health again. We might get a health reading. Health is really big for people right now. So also keep that in mind. Um, anything else? Oh, we read energies, not gender. So don't get caught up on the gender of the cards. We all have masculine, feminine energy. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it for the guidelines. I haven't done that spiel in a long time, if you've noticed. But let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to start with... Hmm. Santa Muerte is calling me. So let's just go ahead and use that one. That one almost never calls me. For the first deck right out of the gate all the decks i use are linked below by the way for those who really like the decks that i'm using so you can purchase them yourselves i get all my stuff on amazon for the most part unless they were gifts or from etsy <laughs> then you won't find them down there okay let's see any messages for pisces keep in mind guys time is also not linear so you could have gone through this already this could be affecting you right now, or it could be something upcoming. And of course, these are very, 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 very general. They are not going to be for everybody, okay? okay? But I'm doing a few, so one of them might resonate with you. Any messages for Pisces? Show me mermaids. <laughs> well, you are Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> you might really resonate with mermaids. You might be a mer person for those with galactic roots. Let's see. Any messages for Pisces? Mm. Oh, I already need water? What the hell? Mm. 333, by the way. Any messages for Pisces? Any messages for Pisces? One more, one more. Any messages for Pisces? It's with the mer people. Any messages for Pisces? Page of Wands in reverse. Okay. Oh, someone's lost their mojo. That's what I'm getting with that, Pisces. Someone's lost their mojo. They're kind of sulking in it. They're not really happy. They might even come across angry because they're kind of frustrated with themselves because they've lost their mojo. They've lost their X factor. They've lost their motivation. They've lost their passion. They've lost their desire. They've lost their oomph. And they're kind of frustrated by it. Almost feels like writer's block even. You know, like when you get really frustrated because you're like, where is my motivation? Where's my, where's my inspiration? Where's my creation? And you get frustrated with yourself. That's what that feels like. Any other messages for Pisces pertaining to the spread? Four of Wands in reverse Aries energy. Yikes. Okay. I gotta be honest, guys, there might have been a little loss in a relationship or loss of desire in a relationship. Kind of feels like that. Like the fire in a relationship's kind of put out. Could even be within the home. Like, you don't really enjoy your home in, in, anymore. You don't enjoy your, your environment anymore. Or you don't enjoy the dynamic of a relationship anymore. Four of Wands can indicate, like, a structure. Right? That's why I was talking about environment. Temperance. Wow, lots of fire, Pisces. <laughs> lots of fire three cards of fire energy now we have sagittarius here with temperance card uh oh to balance and heal and fix to fix to fix to fix i don't think this problem is going to go on for for too long pisces i don't know it's going to go on for too long i feel that there's healing coming in here just be patient with it just be patient with it 
Any other messages for Pisces? Any other messages for Pisces? Any other messages for Pisces? Wow. All fire? Really? The sun. Leo energy. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be a problem for too long. We've got the sun right here indicating happiness, indicating a whole new cycle, a whole new chapter. Things are going to be just fine. Okay, but literally you have all fire. All fire. Oh, wow. Will of Fortune Reverse just came out. Jupiter energy. I feel fighting. That's so weird to feel fighting with that card, with the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse. Wheel of Fortune in Reverse is resisting change. Resisting change. Uh, you might be realizing one of the problems is that there's something that needs to change about your environment or about your relationship, and that's what's coming to you. That's what you're realizing. And it's like, well, shit, how do I really change that? How do I change that? Um, you want things to be good. You want things to be happy. You want things to be positive. You're realizing, though, especially if you're in a relationship, that the other person is really the one that's causing a lot of the resistance, a lot of the obstacles here. Yeah, I feel fighting with that. Any other messages for Pisces pertaining to the spread? The death card. Wow. Yeah, someone does not want change to happen. I do feel multiple people involved in this. So whether this is your home environment, your work environment, or relationship, you want change. You want the sun. You want happiness. You want you want healing. You want balance here. You want stability. But there's resistance to this because it requires some change. It does. It requires some change and someone doesn't want. Someone or many people don't want to participate in that. Okay. Got lots of majors here, guys. Now we have the star, Aquarian energy. Overall, we have the world in reverse. Fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, Joel's Capricorn. Then we have the king of pentacles, Taurian energy. Could also be earth or air. I feel like this is the person who's causing the trouble here, who's causing the resistance. Ending on the star card is amazing because that indicates that there is healing happening here. There's seeing the light is happening here. This is really, really positive sign that things are going to go in the right direction, Okay. You have a lot of majors. I can't get past that. Out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Out of nine cards, you have one, two, three, four, five, six. You have six majors. Six. Okay. The overall energy, like I said, the world in reverse with the King of Pentacles. It's like, again, change needs to happen. But there's a King of Pentacles here who really doesn't want change to happen. That's like the root. I feel like this is the source of the resistance. So if there are other people involved who are on board with the King of Pentacles not going with the change, uh, they basically just like made this person kind of like go-to person. Like everyone who doesn't want the change are just following this individual, male or female, doesn't matter. King of Pentacles is usually kind of a head of a household energy. Head of a household or head of a business, usually like a very patriarchal leadership sort of an energy. Someone who likes to take care of people, take care of others. King of Pentacles usually manages the Ten of Pentacles, which can be work, home, finances, inheritance, that sort of energy. Doesn't have to be a man. It's just very masculine energy. They really don't want this, Pisces. They really don't want this. But you know that's the only thing that's going to work to fix this. So this is going to get interesting. Let's go ahead and look at what the what the problem is, the symptom of the problem. This person's part of the problem, but these are the symptoms. This is the unpleasantness, the unhappiness, the frustration because there's no oomph here anymore. There's no fun here anymore. Like if this is an environment, environment's no fun. Actually hostile is what I want to say. Environment's a little hostile, tense. There's a lot of frustration there, maybe even anger. If it's a relationship, it's kind of embodying all those things as well, okay? But let's look at the Page of Wands in reverse. I'm going to use Lenormand deck for this one, actually. I'm going to use OG. I just call it OG. It's just, it's the original. Like, well, not the original, original. Anyway, <laughs> semantics. Uh, you can see the link for that below. The other one I have is a special edition one. So that's the difference between the two Lenormand decks listed below. All right. Tell me the page of wands in a verse for Pisces. So we've got the book here with the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> yeah, so this is definitely pertaining to some kind of home environment, work environment, or some or some kind of relationship where there's a uh, long-term stability on the line, okay? Whether you, this is like your, your spouse, right? 
or a family member uh, or someone that you share inheritance with or someone where uh, there's a lot of money involved. Something that pertains to your long term stability. The book is about knowledge or secrets. Is information being withheld? I just got the energy like information's being held. Let's see what else wants to come out. Talk about page of wands in reverse. Talk about page of wands in reverse for Pisces. Hey, we've got the mice. Okay. With the uh, seven of wands, defensive energy, mice are pests. It's also an energy of diminishing. Right, an energy of decreasing energy, annoying energy, something that nibbles away at something. Something that nibbles away at something. There's something that's that's actually declining, an energy that's declining here. Again, that could just be the decline of passion and that someone's not really addressing it. They want to address it. Pisces is going to be you, like wanting to address it but not really sure what to do. And then you boom, you have your light bulb moment of, oh, this is what I want. So something has to change here, right? Let's see what other information we can get. I also feel like, um, what's the word? It's gossip, but it's behind closed doors. Like it's gossip, but like the person that's being gossiped about has no idea what's going on. Because sometimes you know when people are gossiping about you. This feels secretive. This feels secretive. 20 of the page of wands in reverse for Pisces. Time of the page of wands in reverse for Pisces. The book is really intriguing me there's something about the energy of the card of the book where i saw talking about like the hidden knowledge there's something hidden away or being repressed it's like there's something there i almost feel like there's like treasure underneath that like gold there's it's some something precious precious to you could be happiness within this environment or dynamic that could be what's the gold thing to you or this could actually be an argument over money or this could be an issue um over money within a dynamic or an environment that's also kind of made the environment or dynamic fester into this like tension filled, frustrated sort of a thing. Talking about page of wands in reverse. Let's see what else we got here. Now we have, ooh, we've got the coffin. Energy of the Nine of Pentacles. Oh, okay, guys. All right. So now we got the tree. This is making me a little nervous with the Seven of Cups, uh, the Scorpionic energy, excuse me. And then we have the male. The male with the Ace of Cups. I don't like this energy together. This makes me a little nervous and I'll tell you why. Uh, the tree is indicative of health, okay? Also family, like I said, got some family energy here for some of you, but it's also indicative of health. But with the coffin, coffin is usually endings, right? Um, it just makes me nervous. I feel like someone's health situation is wrapped up in this, of this masculine energy. That might be part of it. It's a, for some, there's an issue around health that's that's causing an environment to kind of go awry or dynamic to go awry because there's someone's but there's something about someone's health that either isn't going well or it's not being handled very well. It does feel very secretive. On the bottom, we do have the home with the King of Cups. So again, environment, environment or domestic matters with the uh, with the cloud confusion. A lot of King energy here. King of Cups with the King of Swords here. So yeah, there's there's. There's uncertainty about an environment going on here because of someone's health. For some, it's someone's health. Others, it's um, it's gossiping. It's gossiping. Gossiping. And it's just creating a lot of tension. It's creating a lot of negativity in the environment. So some of y'all just got a negative environment going on and the change needs to happen because it's about this individual. And they're spreading negativity all around the household. Or again, environment. I want to say environment because some of this is work. I would say most of you, this is family who are resonating with this. Um, others, there's actually uh, someone's health is on the line or declining and it's not being discussed or it's not being handled appropriately and it's causing a lot of tension in an environment. And then when you cause tension or toxicity in an environment and it's not addressed, it will just continue. It will amplify. It will grow. And that's exactly what's happened here. Okay. God, the book. Why the book is like calling me. I just want to like focus on the book. Um, I'll pull one card for the book. I'll pull one card for the book. I'll pull it from the Kipper deck. Well, I can't really control if it's one card. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll just see what happens. Talk about the book. 
Tell me about the book. Tell me about the book. What did I say? Felt like gold. <laughs> Sudden wealth. Felt like gold. Okay. Tell me more about the book. Oh, shit. Marriage with who? We've got privileged lady and mature woman here. Okay. I want to see what other cards come out before I call this. <laughs> tell, me, tell me more about the book. Tell me more about the book. Okay. Wow, a lot of cards came out. So now we have thoughts with gift, with distant horizons, just like fantasy or distance card. Overall, we have judication. Holy shit. And then we've got the lovers here. So there's definitely some kind of interference with a the connection. There's some kind of mediation going on here between two parties or two individuals. That's what judication means. It's just a mediating energy. Temperance is here. This is my divine intervention card. So something is trying to intervene in the situation to make this right. Okay. With marriage and sudden wealth, with this, I feel like someone's talking shit about um, this energy. So this is feeling a lot more like family now to me. Again, it could still be work because it could just indicate there's a lot of people in the workplace that just have something to say about shit. I feel like this energy might be talking shit about this person, almost like a mother-in-law to a daughter-in-law situation. Because um, like I said, for some, it's just it's just talking shit. <laughs> that's all, For some, that's just all it is. It's just talking shit, talking shit, talking shit, talking shit. And then with thoughts and gift and distant horizons, it's like, I feel like this is, an energy that is exposed to this environment that's not happy about it. Like kind of like fantasizing on how to fix it. Fantasizing on the solution. Yeah, especially with marriage card right there. Um, I feel like this is mostly for that scenario. I don't really, I'm not really feeling these cards for that health scenario. I still feel the health issue. So if that's resonating with you, you already know that that's for you. I feel like these clarifiers came up more so for that, like that talking shit, that talking shit, that talking shit in an environment or a work environment. Uh, and again, it's like if it's a work environment, this could be like a boss energy. This is an older energy, feminine energy. It doesn't have to be female or male. It's just an older energy. Senior, we'll say more senior, a more senior energy talking shit about someone here who definitely if the privileged lady's coming out, this is somebody who either has, if it's work related, a lot of skills. Okay, very, very talented individual. Um, very talented individual. Okay, this can also be someone who holds a lot of wealth compared to this person. And so this person's talking shit about this individual here. Okay, and a solution needs to be needs to be had because it's it's festering the environment. The workplace, the home environment, or a dynamic. The dynamic could be between uh, this individual and a peer. Most likely this individual who's like hoping for a solution, right? Um, it's just causing more and more toxicity and, and, a, and a resolution needs to happen. Resolution needs to happen, okay? Woo! All right, so let's continue. So like I said, temperance is here is a little bit of an intervening energy. Could you, you could even get this as a download, Pisces, on what the solution actually is. Because right after that, you realize there can be a solution. Okay, there can be a solution, but there's resistance, major resistance to that solution. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the resistance factor. And look at the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Because it requires some change. It does. It requires some change in understanding. I'm hearing understanding. I'm going to use the Honest Truth deck. The wheel of fortune in reverse for some of you where this is like a family situation a family has a family is in the midst of being expanded and there are family members that don't want that expansion causing a causing a ruckus time out the wheel of fortune in reverse the wheel of fortune in reverse for pisces tell me about the wheel of fortune in reverse for pisces for sorry they're giving me all kinds of downloads for those where this is about business or work whoever this is is gonna seriously make 
make some money okay is that i feel like a merging of a business almost like this person's gonna be offered an opportunity or taken on and that merge or merging or business opportunity whatever is gonna seriously uh bring in some some revenue some major major revenue but i feel like this individual has got some jealousy issues about it or is or has got some problems with it okay because i just feel talking shit talking shit talking shit talking shit anyway Talk about the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And sorry, keep keep going back to this. Whoever's behind this energy understands the value of this person. They understand it, they see it, and they understand it's like, we need this person for those words business. Talk about the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Talk about the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for Pisces. High Priestess. Yeah, you know, Pisces. Intuition. Piscean energy. Also Gemini for me as a reader. You know. You know that there's a lot of resistance here. It's almost like once you know what the solution is, you instantly know there's going to be more resistance than there already is. Like, it's already kind of gnarly, right? It already doesn't feel good. It already feels kind of toxic. It already feels like there's a lot of frustration, a lot of tension. And you're like, oh, shit, that's the solution. Oh, it's going to be a lot harder than <laughs> it's going to be a lot harder than I, I would have liked it to be. There's going to be even more resistance because of whatever the solution is. Again, around whatever has to change. It might have to be a change in perspective. That's not easy. That's not easy. Or having or making sure someone can accept something that they find unacceptable. That's not easy. Just got a little vertigo. Time out Wheel of Fortune in reverse for Pisces. Yeah. Death in reverse, Scorpionic energy. Again, you're very painfully aware of the resistance that is going to take place against the, the solution. Painfully aware of it. Painfully aware of it. Some of you also realize that um, part of the solution, this is interesting, this has to be for a very specific situation i'm about to say because there's actually a need for spiritual growth as a solution that you become very aware of that would be very hard how do you and again that's gonna be for a specific situation for that to be the solution spiritual growth and expansion almost like someone needs to be awake for it to happen that's interesting climb of the wheel of fortune in reverse Some of the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for Pisces. Oh, some of the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for Pisces. Oh my God! Yikes. Okay, not not what I expected. Four of Swords in reverse, Libra energy, Two of Wands, Aries energy, Five of Pentacles, Taurian energy, Three of Cups in reverse. Cancerian energy. Overall, we have the Hierophant in reverse. Taurian energy with the Hangman in reverse underneath that. Piscean energy with the King of Swords in reverse. Aqua could also be Gemini or Libra. So first of all, let's go over the overall energy, then we'll get back into the clarifiers. With the Hierophant in reverse, Hangman in reverse, and the King of Swords in reverse, some of you are realizing um, part of like the creation of the toxicity is because someone's narcissistic, because someone's parasitic. Someone's very selfish and very manipulative. Some of you are realizing that, okay? And that someone doesn't want to be, for those where it's like the person needs to be awake, very crazy, they're not connected to the higher self and they don't want to be. They don't want to see. They don't want to be awake, right? Some of you are realizing that that is like, that's why there's so much resistance and that's probably going to be uh, the obstacle that either has to be completely removed, like with the solution, or maybe this person just can't be a part of it. Yeah, yikes, right? Kind of yikes. That's kind of yikes to me. Uh, hair front reverse can also be breaks in a contract, right? So some of you might also realize that that might have, oh, well, that's kind of just what I just said, right? So that you might just have to remove this person from the dynamic or the environment or just be like, it's not worth it. It's time to remove this person. Oh, wow. I just flashed to the, pay I just flashed to the monthly I did for, for uh, Patreon the other day. Uh, that, that came up for Pisces. Anyway, so let's get back into the clarifiers. So like I said, painfully aware of the resistance because of this individual, whoever the source of the individual is, I do feel like it's this person is the source of it. And again, it came out as mature woman. So this is why I always say it doesn't matter what the gender is. 
okay? We all have masculine feminine energy, but this person's energy is, is uh, this, this is this person's energy for the person who's causing these issues. Okay, I'm actually going to keep those cards together. So let me get into this. Four of swords in reverse with the two of wands. It's time to come to a decision. This is a crossroads moment of, okay, we can get the, we can have what we want by getting the solution, use, and, you know, getting to the solution, or removing this person. And that's exactly what you realize. Okay, it comes down to a five of pentacles or a three of cups in reverse. Cutting them out or going through the drudging task of getting this person to go along with the solution with the five of pentacles. You're kind of realizing, some of you, not all of you, it, it's, it's, it, it might just, this is the easy, easy solution. This is the hard solution. If you want to keep them in it, the solution is to get them to wake up, get them to not be narcissistic or selfish, get them to actually change as a person. Can't change people. You can't change people, which is why you're realizing, oh, that's going to lead to a five of pentacles. Or I just remove them from the environment. I remove them from even being the problem. They just won't be included in the environment or the dynamic. Not easy. Not easy, Pisces. But then with the star. Shit, almost dropped the card. Then we end with the star. So some of you might decide to walk that hard path and give it a try. Some of you are going to decide to do this. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and look at the star. <laughs> like, what deck do I want? Uh, no, I'll do gilded. I'll do gilded. Time with the star, and then we'll do another spread. Time with the star for Pisces regarding this spread. Tell me the star. Three of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. So that's an energy of not really working together, not building together. Four of Pentacles in reverse, uh, Cap Capricorn energy. Why was that hard to say? Um, that was weird. I wanted to say Taurus, but I knew it wasn't. Taurus might play a role in this for you. Uh, Four of Pentacles in reverse is letting go. I feel like this is going to be a healing moment here. Tell me about the star. Tell me about the star for Pisces. Tell me about the star for Pisces. Got two more cards here. Tell me about the star for Pisces. So now we have, oh, we have five of pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy, and then we have the queen of swords, Libra. It could also be um, air or water. I heard fire, so this, you know, could have fire energy with this person. Then we have the two of pentacles, Capricorn energy. I actually feel like this is the privileged lady. I feel like that's this person. Um, the person, I feel like this is the person who's really being talked about a lot. Talked about. This is the person who's being talked about. This person's very intelligent, I have to say. Uh, this person's very intelligent. They're very intuitive. They're very firm right now, is what I'm hearing. They're very firm right now. People aren't used to them being that way. Queen of Swords is like that. Queen of Swords isn't exactly cold. They're just firm. They just are very direct, right? Because they know. They have the knowing because they're air. This person's being very firm right now. People aren't used to that. They want me to say that because this most likely is one of you guys, right? Most likely is you or someone that you're connecting with in the midst of this situation here, okay? Anyway, uh, they're giving more information about this person. They're more mature than their age. So they're probably younger. They're probably younger uh, or on the younger side because they're more mature than their age. Male or female, doesn't matter. Anyway, bringing it back. Oh, the Two of Pentacles. Um... I think this person's becoming aware of the larger issue at hand. And like I was saying, there's something hidden. Like I said, this per like there was gossip going on, but this person wasn't aware of it. And I don't think they needed to be. Honestly, I don't think it would have helped them to know, but they're becoming aware. And I feel like that's what's putting them in a firm position. They're not fucking around, whoever this is. So, oh, Lordy, we've got a lot of got a lot going on here. So whoever this individual is, where did the thoughts card go? 
so many cards here. Whoever this person is, this is the person who's been thinking of the solution. Pisces, like I said, this could very well be you. Decide who you are in the situation. We got at least three people, maybe more, going on here, okay? This person's been very aware of the situation. This person wants a solution, okay? They know that this person, whoever they are, an older individual, male or female, doesn't matter, talking a lot of shit, creating a really toxic environment, okay? Creating a very toxic environment. This person wants to find a solution. They realize this person has to change for this to work. And while this person is coming to the realization, it's going to come down to removing this person entirely from the dynamic or getting this person to change and going through that process. Again, you can't change people, right? So this person's deciding that. Once this person realizes that's what it's going to take, this person becomes aware of the larger issue at hand, okay? And for those where this is business... This individual is being looked at to being taken on in a company or a business endeavor because they, it's, they're really needed. They're the key to success for this business endeavor or whatever, okay? Um, and there's something on this individual where it's like not wanting to admit that or not wanting to go there. Lordy, have mercy. Uh, where this is a family issue, uh, this person's being hated on a lot, okay? <laughs> this person's being hated on a lot, uh, by this individual, and I feel like that's probably out of jealousy or some kind of overcritical energy, very e egotistical energy, okay? This person, I feel like, is actually going to take control of the situation. I feel like this person is going to be the one to step up because they realize they're being talked about a lot, and this person is creating toxicity out of doing that, okay? By targeting this person directly and directly. This person is going to take control of the driver's seat and come, with a, come up with a solution. Overall energy, we have Ace of Cups in reverse. Underneath that, Four of Cups in Reverse, Cancerian Energy. Underneath that, Ace of Swords in Reverse. I feel like this person is just going to confront. Oh, ow. It's just going to confront this individual. Just going to confront them. And just be like, I know what you've been up to. <laughs> I know what's been going on. And something's got to change. And if you're not going to change, you're out. <laughs> We're not dealing with your ass anymore. It's like, It's very much like that. With these, this combination together, um, it's ego. It's a lot of ego. I'm actually getting a lot of lies here. Um, it's almost like wanting to push someone out. Yeah, whoever this is, they've been wanting to push this person out of the equation. They want to push this person out of the equation, out of the environment, the dynamic, whatever. Okay? Wow. Th this was an oddly specific scenario, Pisces. Um, got a headache. <laughs> wow. All right, let's do another spread. Let's do another spread. Good luck to you, all of you who are in that scenario, because that is not fun. That's drama. That's drama. That's unnecessary bullshit. But this person's going to end up taking control because they're going to become fully aware of what's actually going on, and they're just going to put an end to it. And that's exactly what a Queen of Swords does, okay? And it's the person who's actually being targeted and talked about. Oh, Okay. Let's get another spread out here after a drink of water. Mm. Pisces. Actually, got my lighter. I want to clear some of that energy out. That was like not fun. <laughs> it's not the funnest energy. Ooh. Cleansing some of this energy out. Let's get some different messages. Let's get some fun ones. Let's get some fun messages out here. I'm using Palo Santo right now, so it takes a little longer to light for those who are patiently waiting. Come on. Patiently, patiently. There we go. Mm. Yes, yes. Let's clear this out. <laughs> yeah, that did not feel awesome. That felt really gross. All right. Patient, patient, patient. All right. Okay. Let's start with a new deck here. I'm almost tempted to pull one of you. I'm almost tempted to do an oracle reading. Like, a, start with an oracle deck is what I meant to say. I'm almost tempted to. Very tempted to. I don't think I will. If I do, it'll be the last one that I do. Uh, let's actually start with the steampunk. I haven't used that in a long time. Any different messages for Pisces? Messages for different Pisces group or just different messages, please. Anything they need to hear? 
anything you need to be aware of any messages for pisces a different group of them or different messages please Any messages for Pisces or a different group of Pisces? Any messages for Pisces or a different group of Pisces, please? Show me a lot of animals. Maybe you're going to a zoo. <laughs> Show me lots of animals. A lot of animals. I just saw a wolf, I saw a bear, I saw a giraffe, I saw a rhino, zebra, beaver? Okay. It's a weird one to throw in that group. <laughs> yeah, it almost feels like a zoo. Oh, are you in a zoo, Pisces? I don't want to, I don't want another reading of what we just read. It really does. It's like clean the energy out. It feels chaotic. I gotta be honest, it feels chaotic. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> King of Pentacles. Taurian energy. Could also be earth or air. Again, someone who is very focused on stability, resources, uh, managing households, managing business, managing money. I do feel businessman with this. Businessman or businesswoman. It's just very masculine energy. I literally keep feeling a zoo. I keep feeling a zoo. Do they own a zoo? I like, I just keep feeling a zoo. Or just that kind of energy, right? Where it's like, you know, and like zoos actually really bother me. I love animals. Oh my God, I love animals so much. But zoos are so depressing, right? It's like you can feel like the stagnant energy. You can feel them just like dying. I feel like some animals go crazy in there. Anyway, not to go there. Magician, mercurial energy. So Virgo, Gemini could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy. Someone's creating. Someone's busy. Someone's very busy, Pisces. Uh, actually, what do I want? I want, to, I, I want to do this with my hands. Someone, someone talks with their hands a lot. Whoever's creating, they talk with their hands a lot. Uh, I feel like this person's almost building an empire. Who is this? Who is this, Pisces? I, yeah, I feel that. I feel that. They never stop either. I feel like they're always thinking of what to do next. They're always thinking of creating. They're always thinking, always thinking, always thinking, always thinking. They're always thinking, always thinking. More could be done, more could be made. More, more. There's more to do. There's always more to do. God, maybe they're the zoo. <laughs> maybe they have like some collection of businesses or something. That's what it, that's actually kind of what it feels like. Any other messages for Pisces regarding this spread? This is an impressive person though, I have to say. There's something about them that's impressive. They might impress people very well. They might be quite the charmer. I don't, I want to use the word manipulate, but not in a negative way. They just know how to manipulate. They know how to tweak. They know how to move things around. There's probably a really good um, energy manipulator. Any other messages for Pisces? Four cups in reverse. Cancerian energy. There's been some rejection going on here. I don't think they fear rejection. They're too confident for that. They're way too confident for that. But there is a rejection taking place. Um, are they rejecting? It's weird. I want to say it's coming from them or on their behalf. Like from them. Or, this, is, this could be a serious business, uh, business owner. Uh, it's coming from them or on their behalf. I don't think they're being rejected. I'm also getting the word abandoned. Any other messages for Pisces regarding this spread? They could be abandoning a project. This feels very business heavy. Any, any other messages? Oh, okay. I feel like this is something they actually rejected in the past or abandoned in the past. It's being called into question. For some, this is through an audit. Any other messages for Pisces regarding this spread? Oh, that's it. Overall energy. Ooh, yikes. Six of Wands in reverse. Jupiter, Leo energy. Underneath that, we've got the Sun in reverse, Leo energy. Okay, so this person, I actually feel a loss here. So again, not to be all business talk, but this feels like, a, like someone who's very business oriented or money oriented, or they have an empire or they're building an empire. It feels very much like that, okay? Um, 
almost like profits and losses. A lot of losses, a lot of losses. They could possibly even be in the red. Um, they rejected something, I think, that could have given them emotional fulfillment, even if it was just a business project or an actual business or a business decision. There's something about it that's emotional. That's why the Four of Cups is out here. There's something about it that could have brought emotional fulfillment. It's being, like I said, it's being called into question. And it feels like an old decision. It feels like an old decision. Um, God, what an, what an interesting person. I almost want to say this person is probably called amazing a lot. Let's go ahead and look at them. Do cosmic. I'm going to clarify them as a set. Actually, no. I'm going to look at the magician. I want to know what they're trying to create. Let's be nosy. So I'm not the magician. So I'm not the magician for Pisces. Talk about the magician for Pisces regarding this spread. Talk about the magician for Pisces regarding this spread. Talk about the magician for Pisces regarding this spread. This person doesn't share a lot. Even if they're a talker, so this is what I mean, like they're really good at manipulating, even like manipulating energy. They're really good at charming people and talking, but they don't share about them. They don't give information about themselves. They don't talk about themselves a lot or what they're doing. They don't talk about what they're doing. Talk about the magician. It feels positive. I don't feel anything really negative about this person. It feels positive. Talk about the magician for Pisces. Yeah, five of wands in reverse, Leo energy. So I like that it's in reverse because whatever they're creating, uh, it's it's in the face of, a, not in the face, excuse me. Uh, it's in the name of getting away from fighting, competition. Sorry, that just all of a sudden really hit my heart chakra. Um, whew, really hit my heart chakra. Yeah, there's something emotional going on here. And like I said, it's something that's being called into question. Whatever they're creating, it might be to stop the questioning or to address the questioning, like almost just making it go away. I feel heavy competition with this as well. Heavy competition with this. Whatever they're working on, they're also, for some, they're blowing away the competition or they're trying to blow away the competition. Talking about the magician. They want to be in a league of their own, is what I heard. Not that they are, but they want to be. <laughs> Interesting. Talking about the magician. It's probably why this person is so confident, is that that's probably how they operate. I'm in a league of my own, don't you know? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Talking about the magician. Ah, now we have the moon. Piscean energy, also Cancerian. For me as a reader, then we have Magician in Reverse, Mercurial energy, so Virgo, Gemini. Could also be Aquarius, Scorpio. For me as a reader, Divine Masculine energy. Interesting. Now we have an Empress in Reverse. Uh, that's Venusian. So Libra and Taurus, Divine Feminine energy. Uh, not to mention we have uh, Moon and Virgo here. Full Moon and Virgo is actually right now, pretty much. Ooh. I'm not loving this with the Magician in Reverse or the Empress in Reverse. I feel like something's going on with this Empress energy. This feels like a different energy. Pisces, this could very well be you. This feels like a different energy from the King of Pentacles. Um, this feels like someone who's kind of struggling. This feels like someone who's almost unsure of themselves, but they shouldn't be because they're an Empress. Oh, sorry, I just realized the light was kind of dark. Almost unsure of themselves, but they shouldn't be because they're an Empress. I feel a little struggle with this person. I think this King of Pentacles is where very aware of this empress and what they're dealing with and what they're going through, how they feel. Yeah, this empress, empress, excuse me, is very capable. I feel like they got some obstacles going on in their life right now, or they're, or they're just like almost in mud is kind of what it feels like, like they're walking through mud. Something's slowing them down. This king of pentacles is aware. They're aware. Talk about the magician. This might relate to the first spread, guys. Talk about the magician. Where are we at? 44 minutes. Talk about the magician for Pisces. Come on, get up. Got three more cards out here. Talk about the magician for Pisces pertaining to the spread. Okay. Oh, my. Now we have 
the High Priestess, Piscean Energy, also Gemini for me as a reader with Temperance, Sagittarian Energy, and Five of Cups in Reverse Scorpionic Energy. I love this energy. This is hope. This is very hopeful and in a way of just knowing it, just intuitively understanding things will be fine. Things will work out. There's nothing to worry about. Things are going to be okay. It's just, it's just knowing it. It's having faith. I talked a lot about this in the Full Moon Live video. This is having faith, okay? Overall energy, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, Virgo energy. And we've got the Fool. Uh, Aries energy could also be Aquarius because there's a Uranus card. Talk about having faith. This is just going, I'm going to have the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> this is the attitude of the King of Pentacles. Like I said, this is probably why this person is so confident. And I feel like this person is very successful in life. They just step into their manifestation. This is a master manifester. They just step into it. I will just have it because it's mine and I'm just going to grade it. Like it's just, they just do it. No question. They just do it. They just go. They just do it. Now it's interesting though, whatever they're creating is somehow affecting or indirectly connected to this individual. And there's a need to have hope. There's a need to have faith because of whatever is going on with this person and whatever conflict may have arisen here. I feel like this King of Pentacles has their eye on this Empress. They're keeping an eye on this person, whether it's for, you know, adding to their Ten of Pentacles, or they're keeping an eye on them because there's some kind of competitive tension around this person. And they just want to keep it. It's like a keeping an eye on like, I, like, I see you. I'm aware of you. I know you not super direct, not super aggressive, just very aware, very curious about this feminine energy. But we still got one more card to look at here. Okay. Um, actually, let's look at this Empress really quickly. Let's take a look at this person. Yeah, that yeah, this king is looking is just keeping an eye on them. Keeping an eye. They want me to keep saying it, keeping an eye on them. Ooh, um, let's use what deck? Oh yeah, let's do Legacy. Oh, that belongs with that deck. Okay. Let's talk about this Empress in Reverse. Let's talk about this Empress in Reverse. Let's talk about this Empress in Reverse for Pisces. So the Empress in Reverse for Pisces. Now with the Empress in Reverse for Pisces. This could be someone that was part of this old abandonment or rejection that took place that, again, has an emotional tie to it. Remember, overall energy for this situation is a loss. It is a loss here. So I'm with the Empress in Reverse. And I, I just can't shake this feeling that this king is keeping an eye on this, this empress because it's almost like wanting to include, right? Keep an eye on them because of what happened and they want to create. But this, I feel like this king is recognizing there's some kind of loss about whatever it is they're creating. So they're keeping an eye on this empress because of that. It's not this empress in reverse. Ooh. Queen of Cups in reverse. Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. This person's got dealing with some pain right now. Oh! Okay. Now we have the Moon in reverse, which is Pisces or Cancer. Uh, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn could also be Earth or uh, Water. With Judgment in reverse. Fire energy. Also a uh, Scorpionic energy for me as a reader. This Empress, they're hurting and they're in pain. They're a little bit in emotional turmoil. They're realizing that someone hasn't been loyal to them. I feel like this person's going through a personal issue in their in their personal life, in their social life. This queen, whoever this queen is, um, Queen of Pentacles in Reverse is someone who's like quite literally that. They're only loyal to themselves. And this queen, this Empress slash Queen of Cups is realizing that. Realizing that and realize that maybe they've made a mistake by dealing with whoever this is. Yeah, I feel like that's a personal thing going on with the Empress that this king is aware of. This feels very similar to the first one. So I'm with the Empress in reverse. So I'm with the Empress in reverse. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see me roll my eyes? Yeah. So I'm with the Empress in reverse. Oh, crap. Yeah, Page of Wands in reverse. And then overall, we have Death in reverse, Scorpionic energy. Then we've got the Empress in reverse again. Uh, Venusian, so Libra energy, also Taurus energy. Um, Divine Feminine energy. 
yeah, this empress is going through a bit of an emotional struggle because someone they trusted they shouldn't have trusted. They trusted someone they shouldn't have. Or they were dealing with someone who they found out is just a very selfish person. And unfortunately, they're realizing that and that's their bad news. This is also the bad news card. And this king is aware of it and they're keeping an eye on this empress and because they're going through this. I don't even think the empress is aware the king is keeping an eye on them. So just to say it again, because I know it can be confusing. This king is doing their thing, right? And aware that this empress is going through this painful moment of turmoil, of realizing that there's someone who's been selfish with them or disloyal to them, someone that they probably trusted, and they're dealing with that right now. But they're not aware the king is keeping an eye on them. This could even all be happening in the realms, okay? Especially with temperance and the high priestess here. This could all be going on telepathically or in the higher dimensions that this king is keeping an eye on this empress. Whew. Let's look at the four cups in reverse. We might do another spread. I don't know. Your girl's a little tired. These are kind of intense readings. But let's go and look at the four cups in reverse. Uh, I'm going to use crystal. Talk about the four cups in reverse for Pisces. Talk about the four cups in reverse for Pisces. Four of Cups in Reverse for Pisces. So the Four of Cups in Reverse for Pisces. Yeah, Strength in Reverse, Leo Energy. Whatever this rejection was, there was a loss of control. I feel like the King of Pentacles lost control of something tangibly. I feel like tangibly, lost, not emotionally, but tangibly lost control of something with whatever they rejected or abandoned. And it, honestly, I feel like it's this Empress. I feel like they abandoned this Empress or rejected this Empress at some point in the past. So I have the Four of Cups in reverse. And in doing so, they lost tangible control of something or lost power. So I have Four of Cups in reverse. Ooh! Yeah, Seven of Wands in reverse, a Leo Energy. Oh, I feel a loss of courage with this. A loss of uh, faith in oneself as well. Like confidence in oneself. But this person's very confident. I can feel it. They're very confident. I think after this rejection or abandonment took place, I think they realized it was a mistake, which is why they're still keeping an eye on this empress. Time of Four of Cups in Reverse for Pisces. Mm. Oh, Lerve. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Oh, so unfortunate. Damn, so unfortunate. Time of Four of Cups in Reverse for Pisces pertaining to this spread. Got two more here. Wow, two sixes just came out. Six of Cups in Reverse, Scorpionic Energy, and Six of Swords in Reverse, Aquarian Energy. They never got over this. They in love, they in love, they in love, and they never got over what happened. They never got over what happened, but I feel like the rejection, like I said, or abandonment took place from, from them or on their behalf with this Empress, and they never got over it. Overall Energy, wow, we've got the Lovers. Gemini Energy... Six of Wands, Jupiter, Leo energy. Oh, wow. Underneath that, we've got the Five of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. Oh, and the Devil in reverse, Capricorn energy. There can be victory here. There can be victory here. This this King is feeling the loss, but I think that's also why they're still keeping an eye on this Empress and they're just having full on faith that everything is going to work out fine because they, they feel this. Hold on, I'll pull up all the cards. They're trying to maintain their faith that everything's going to be fine because they're feeling this. They're feeling forgiveness. They're feeling uh, victory. They're feeling balance. They're feeling love. They still feel it. They still feel it. They never That never went away. And they never got over what happened. And they know that this Empress is going through something with this Queen of Pentacles. And they're, like, they're just like, all right, they're going through that. I'm just going to keep an eye, but I want to build this. I want to create this. I want to create this. I want to create this. And whatever they're creating, I feel like they want to include the Empress and they're waiting for the right time until all of this weird personal shit uh, goes away and stops happening with the um, Empress. Oh, so 
that was a little bit nicer. It was a little bit better. Um, let's do another spread because I feel like, you know, those were very closely related. So let's pull another spread here. Uh, I think I will use an Oracle deck this time. I think I will. Uh, I don't really want to focus on love because these seemed really love. Th this one seemed more romance heavy. The other one seemed also like very business-like or family related. Uh, I haven't used the Shaman deck in a long time. I don't know. Those tend to go really long. Hold on. Let me think about this. Clyde, what are you doing? All right, well, yeah, okay. All right, we'll go for, no, no, spirit animal. <laughs> I've decided. All right, we're going to go for spirit animal. Any messages for Pisces? Any different messages for Pisces? Or different groups of Pisces? Any messages for Pisces or different groups of Pisces? Any messages for Pisces or different groups of Pisces? I think he's breaking shit in there. Uh, did you break something, Clyde? Did you? I think you did. <laughs> oh, well. Any messages for Pisces or different groups of Pisces, please? Lost spirit. Sometimes life stings. So closing out a painful cycle, getting rid of the pain, getting rid of the past, getting anything that's hindering you. It's a struggle, though. Usually indicates it's a struggle. With rhino spirit, overcome any obstacle. Look at you, Pisces. Look at you getting over the hard stuff, getting over the hard stuff. It's causing a lot of change in your life, though. Whoever's going to be resonating with this spread with the 50 breaking down to a five. It's a lot of change. And with the zero, I just realized it's, it's also running on faith. Running on faith that you can get through it. Let's see what else wants to come out. <laughs> Sorry, I just noticed. I love the little crown on the on the horn right there. With your little crown going on, Pisces. Still didn't drop it. Oh, beauty. Yeah, yeah. You've got spirit all over you. Show me the energy of Pisces. Any other messages for Pisces? Any other messages for Pisces? Oh, Pisces, this is beautiful. It's so funny. Didn't I say there was a zoo in the last reading? I'm seeing some of the animals here, at least a couple of them. All right, now we have Eagle Spirit. Spirit has a plan. 23 breaking down to a five. What has a plan? Has your back. Oh, that's weird. Psychic slip. Has your back, okay? Not a plan. Has your back. Yeah, whatever you're going through, Pisces, you're going to get through it. You're going to be fine. You have faith here, which is why spirit is quite literally all around you. You're protected at this time. Your guides are really close, okay? Your guides are really close, even though it's a painful moment. Wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. Uh, 67, that breaks down to a four. You're heading right into stability. Wolf spirit is a learning energy. It's like a teaching student energy. You've learned from this. You've learned from this and you've let it uh, mature you. You've let it uh, help you grow, okay? And that's exactly what spirit wanted you to do. It's exactly what spirit wanted for you. Some of you also have uh, really learned a lot about your own spirituality and really how the universe works. A lot of you've advanced. Some of you even graduated. If you know that, that, you know, for those who are aware that that's actually you, that you've graduated. By the way, I'm just noticing. Got two fives. Got two fives right here. And then the last card, Dove Spirit. Be peace. Oh. 21 breaking down to a three. This card sometimes leans into communication for me personally as a reader, but it's also a card of tranquility, of serenity, heavenly happiness that you're heading right into. Pisces, this is beautiful. You got the pain, you got the obstacle, you got the struggle. You have the growing process, the wisdom, feeling good about your stuff, feeling stable, feeling like spirit's got you, feeling, feeling like they've, they're supporting you. And then you walk right into serenity. Overall, we have giraffe spirit. See the big picture. 29 breaking down to an 11. So that's a master number here. This is literally being able to see um, all the pieces of the puzzle, how it all works, how it all functions. Understanding that sometimes certain things happen for a reason. Seeing the reality of a person, the people in your life, the choices you've made, where you are and where you want to be. Also very much due to this energy. You learned. You've learned because you can see. Okay, 
oh, this is so nice. I like this. I really like this. Uh, I don't feel like we're going to clarify any of this too much. Let's look at this, of course. Let's see the struggle. Let's look at the struggle. I'm going to use, which one? Oh, I haven't used this one yet. I'm use Radiant Wise. Show me the struggle that Pisces is going through. Tell me about Wasp and Rhino for Pisces. 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 <laughs> the truth, truth, ace of swords. It's all I'm hearing, truth, truth and clarity. You're getting through it, like I said, because you have faith, you have your sight, you have your sight, and you know what the truth is, because you see it all. You see it all, you know it all. So you have no problem getting through whatever the struggle is for you. Talking about wasp spirit with rhino spirit. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Five of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. You just know you're going to get through it. That's quite literally what this is. Understanding you're going to get through the struggle. Understanding that you're going to be just fine. Again, whatever your struggle is. Probably different for all of you. Some of you, it's financial. Some of you, it's financial. Some of you, it's also in the realm of health. Oh, interesting. Some of you guys are, are coming into such understanding of how the universe works, how energy works, how spirit works, that you're also understanding that your money situation wasn't right right because your health situation wasn't right talking about wasp spirit and rhino spirit for pisces talking about wasp spirit yeah eight of swords in reverse gemini energy no longer living in fear or scarcity mindset or anything like that like actually walking fully into faith walking fully into faith some of you are also realizing that your health wasn't right because you have lived in fear Nice. Of course, it's not for all of you. I feel like some of you guys were offended by that. Don't be offended. We all we all have gone through that. Tell me more about Wasp Spirit and Rhino Spirit for Pisces. Empress in Reverse. Uh, Venusian Energy. So Libra Taurus. Divine Feminine Energy. You're no longer holding yourself back. You're not holding yourself back. Overall, oh, beautiful. Hierophant. Taurian Energy. Your higher self you've learned. What did I say? You've learned. Okay. You've learned how to listen to spirit. You've learned how to connect to your higher self and listen to your higher self and had to have faith. Very nice. Some of you, the struggle was also due to institutions like the patriarchy. There's also a card of the patriarchy for me personally. And now it comes a lot of interesting flavors. Um, or it even could have been a uh, work or a marriage, like a contract, something that was contractual in your life. Anyway, moving into this, being wizened, <laughs> having the growth, and again, moving into spirit, moving into faith fully. I don't feel the need to connect to that or to connect to that. Well, to clarify that, I do want to clarify this, though. When you actually get there, when you get to the place of serenity and tranquility and just happiness, happiness, be more than content. Um, You know, just for fun, let's do a Norman deck. This is the special edition one. Tell me about Dove Spirit. Tell me about Dove Spirit. I think some of you, sorry, going back to your struggle, some of you really battled with religion versus spirituality. I've talked about this before too. Um, and realizing how for some of you, not all of you, and again, don't take offense to this, teach their own, that following religion so closely versus spirituality actually caused some conflict in your life and caused you to have more fear than well, fear, cause you to have fear. Um, some of you, there's also going to be a big battle with tradition, culturally, religiously, societally. I don't think those are words, but you know what I'm trying to say. Some of you are battling that because you do know the truth, right? You have your truth and you see, you see it all, you see. So a lot of you are, are, are struggling with that as far as like rebelling against uh, tradition, Okay. That keeps you from living in truth. Tell me more about Dove Spirit. Tell me more about Dove Spirit for Pisces. Tell 
Tell me more about Dove Spirit for Pisces. Thank you. Oh, we got some love on the board. Heart doesn't always have to be romantic love. It can literally just be love, like love of spirit, right? Unconditional love, compassion, those really high vibe, joyous emotion, you know, energies and emotions with the Knight of Cups there. Tell me more about Dove Spirit. Ah, don't want to lose this. Interesting. We have the sickle. The sickle is like weeding. It's like a weeding energy. It's a cleaning up energy, removing some stuff that needs to be removed. It's also energy of harvesting with the cycle, with the cycle energy, uh, with the Knight of Pentacles here. So to have this serenity, you're removing stuff out of your life. You're coming out of that cycle of fear. And for some that might require a lot of removal of people or things or ideologies. Tell me more about Dove Spirit. Tell me more about Dove Spirit for Pisces. All right, now we've got, oh, wow. We've got the ship with the crane. Some of you might be moving. <laughs> Just being totally honest here, the crane's about change. The crane's about change or births, like the new, like renewed energies or new cycles, surprising events that bring in new things or surprise travels. This could, these could also be surprise travels or travels that change your life. So I mean, this could go on a spiritual journey. Uh, we have the Ten of Swords here with the Queen of Cups, okay? Some of you, this is a course correction. You're completely changing your path for some of you. Overall, sorry, no, I can't stop burping. Overall, we have the clock. Another 10, another cycle energy. Uh, the clock means time is of the essence or something has really, uh, again, changed, really altered here. You're choosing to live differently, which means you're probably, you're also probably choosing a different timeline. For those where this is a really drastic shift, okay? This is literally going from fear to faith. Again, the, the epitome of this full moon in Virgo, okay? Also, uh, for some of you, for some of you, not all of you, for like very few of you, there's something about this that was inevitable. There's something about this that was inevitable, that it was this, it was the perfect time for this to happen to you, or it's part of your blueprint to go through this course correction. Okay. Wow. Wow, Pisces. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the Pisces uh, birthday readings. I thought these were really intense. The last one was really cool. And I hope you guys took uh, some good stuff away from it. Okay. Don't forget to check out Vimeo and Patreon. I just remembered to... My, my my camera makes two videos at 46 minutes and some seconds. I also add an intro, so it's adding 15 seconds to that. But anyway, so I, I forgot to watch the time for that. So if it got cut off somewhere, I'm sorry. I don't know why my phone does that. It's a setting I can't change. Um, once I'm settled in where I'm going to be and have an understanding of how my equipment works, my new equipment, the videos will be very different, okay? All right, guys, I'll see you later. Have a good night and happy birthday, Pisces. Namaste.